It's no secret that we're thrilled about the new Getting Started content, and the reason for that is simple. There are over 100 lessons organized by task, which are led by industry-educated experts. But it also has to do with the added capabilities it provides us to teach you. In this quick tip, I want to show you some of these, starting with finding the related training files. Many of these lessons are intended for you to follow along with the subject matter experts as they program, design, and iterate. So as you start to learn conceptual modeling with T-splines, and Jamie has you insert a canvas to base your sketches on, you'll find links in the right pane to download those images for use in that lesson. In addition, when you go to simulate the design in another track, you won't have to work on something similar to what the instructor uses. You'll get and use the exact files right from Fusion 360. At the bottom of the data panel, in workshops and events, you'll find a folder for adoption content where they're organized by track and lesson number to make finding them simple. But they will be read-only to start, so if you want to save your progress, make sure to save it to a new location. Next up, chapters. Chapters in these videos add incredible value if you want to revisit a portion of a larger lesson. Say you're designing something later, and forget the steps to make construction geometry. We'll jump into that lesson, go full screen, and note the text to the right. These break down the larger lessons into smaller, more pointed lessons. So let's see how to make a plane along a path. Plane along a path allows you to create a construction plane at any point along a path. First, you specify the path, and then you specify- And if it's just a review, you might want to speed Jamie up so he talks as fast as me. Note the play speed options here. For example, if you wanted the plane to be halfway along the path, you would enter 0.5 into the distance ratio. That's more like it. Running through all these lessons in one sitting is completely unfeasible due to the time commitment required. So being able to track your progress and resume at a later time is crucial. To do this, just dig into the lesson of choice and there you'll be able to see what lessons you've started, finished, or haven't touched. To mark these as complete, make sure to hit the button you see here and it'll update the progress tracker. And we don't all learn in the same way. Some people learn by listening and watching, while others love to read a step-by-step. -step. That's why for these lessons, you'll often find complementary step-by-steps, which you can scroll through and read along as Marty shows you in the video above. If the video goes too fast, make sure to pause it by clicking the button or to use the keyboard shortcut typical for most media players to pause or resume, the spacebar. Finally, it's probably a good time to tell you where to find this material. After this video finishes, check the description below and click in the link you find there. This will take you direct to the page where you'll first log in, then you're off to the races. Before you get too distracted, make sure to bookmark the page. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps.